are you doing? Um, some of you have expressed interest of where I'm going exactly with the models. So I have with me today, this is a sergeant that I painted. Um, he is, so this is roughly where I'm going with the models that I've been painting in my tutorials. And um, so we have, you can see that it's quartered red-yellow. So the standard guy, this is what the standard guys have. I do something different with my elites, but I'll show that to you guys another time. Uh, you'll notice that on the shoulder pad, where the red is, is with where the Howling Griffin logo is. And uh, the reason I do that is because I've made a conscious choice that wherever there's going to be a spot for the Howling Griffin logo is where I'm going to paint red. So sometimes, if you look at some of the other models in my army, you'll notice that the side that's red is yellow and the side that's yellow is red. And that's because in whatever this shoulder pad has detail on it, like uh, studs or a symbol, um, I will paint this side yellow and do red on this side if this side's open and uh, will allow me to do um, the red chapter symbol. Sometimes it'll be a knee pad that gets it, sometimes it'll be other things. But you'll notice that, you know, all the details painted pretty nicely. Um, skin tone, eyes, his eyes are a little, they're a little big, they're a little anime-esque, but uh, for the most part I like them. Um, done some battle damage and weathering. You should see that throughout the army. I also really like doing this glow to the power weapons just to let people know that they're power weapons. I know it's sort of a little overdone. It isn't perfect, but this guy, I painted him pretty quickly. Some of the others will be better. Some of the others will be at least to this level, all at least to this level. So yeah, so this is where I'm going with this with these tutorials. And um, so yeah, so let's get on to the, the painting goodness. See you guys in a minute. Hey guys, you're on here. Um, Welcome to How to Paint Howling Griffins Part Number Three. Um, today we're going to be talking about how I do the red, uh, the beginnings of the red, and do the first wash. So if you guys remember, here's a sample. This is what we did uh, the last time. We uh, overbrushed and dry brushed the model to get this nice sort of basic yellow color. So now what we need to do is we need to consider the model and then start applying the red. So when I do red, I paint it in quarters. So usually, since this pad, shoulder pad, like I was saying before, is clear, it'll be the, the main shoulder pad. So this quarter will be red, and this quarter will be red. So first things first, is you need to sort of create a line for you to, so as you know how people tell you to paint within the lines, well, you need to create a line to paint by. So what I do is I take the brush, and this, if you notice, if you look, this creates a line. So what I do is I just lay the brush over it and I start painting my color on. So I take my the whole of length of my brush and I paint up that line. So now we look at the top, put my brush, and I use the brush to create that line. Just imagine the brush all the way through to be a straight line from the tip of the brush, which is what I'm using the paint with, all the way to the back of the brush. And just so you know, this is a GW standard brush that I'm painting with. Alright, so now, now that we've done the line on his face, let me Watch it up. And this will get easier as you do it, guys. Now we need to extend the line to other parts of his body. Now you notice, I did his head to center down his head. However, if you were to do the center line here, it would be off-center. Because the head is looking in a different direction than the torso is, is facing. So now you bring the torso to the... And you do your line again. You make sure you sort of... And what I do is I have the belt be part of the lower part of the legs. So, you know, paint in, sort of paint your, the basis of your line. Continuing the line. I'll paint the back of the guy. And you notice I flip him over. Yes, some people tell me that I should not touch the model, 
but I haven't noticed any significant problem by touching it or not. So I just go ahead and do... I've tried putting them on pots before and it just, it just doesn't work for me. Maybe I'll touch the model and feel it and, and turn it as I need to. Alright, so remember on the backpack we're talking about the line. See the brush creates the line that we're going for. You just touch the brush to the surface and pull it down. That's how I create the straight lines. You'll notice that I probably have gone a little too far over and I'll correct that later and I'll show you guys how to do that. It's not that hard. Alright, so now just like any art project when you were a kid, when you're, you're uh, you were in elementary school and your teacher told you to paint within the lines. Now what I have to do is I have to take the model and I've created this line. I have to paint in the rest of in the lines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint. I'm going to turn the camera off, paint that quarter, and I'll be back to paint the next quarter. I'll be right back.